Hey YouTube, what's going on? Chris here. Wanted to bring you guys a little something to study for tonight and just bring this to you so you guys can work on these different patterns and really learn from these different type of things. So I just want to get these out as often as I can, guys. I would love to get one a day, but that's probably not going to happen. So maybe if I can get two or three a week where we're just going through different things, candles or chart patterns, different things like that. The people who watch these are really people who want to learn. So I'm just so grateful to do this to you guys if you could. Hit the hit that like button, guys. We're trying to get a hundred likes on each one of these little videos here. So if you guys could do that, leave some comments down below if you guys know about the rounded bottom and if you guys have done some studying on it. And what we're gonna do, guys, I'm gonna read out of my book. It's called Chart Patterns, and it's by Thomas Bolkowski, and he is the author of the Encyclopedia of Chart Patterns. And this book here, guys, is about 300 pages. It's really good itself, and that's the next one I'm gonna go up to once I finish this. We're gonna get the Encyclopedia of Chart Patterns, Lord willing, and we're gonna we're gonna really uh, take it up to the next level. But this book alone is just amazing and it goes through so much but what we're going to talk about here is the rounded bottom the bullish reversal pattern here and we're going to go through a few things the identification of it and just come some of the characteristics that my book has for this rounded bottom so guys rounded bottoms you're coming off a downtrend here and you can see how you just slowly and this is just slow over time how you have this rounded bottom just like that and we go from these lower lows and lower highs to higher lows and higher highs and we just start moving up and then here's your neckline now once this is broken guys we're gonna read about the type of percentage gains you can expect on a lot of these so what this guy did Bolkowski he goes back and he back tests things rounded bottoms and descending triangles and he ranks them all how much they break out on average what percent all different types of stuff like that so it is just fascinating and interesting so guys I'm gonna read a bit, little bit of this to you if you wanted to take out your uh, pen and your paper write this stuff down this is called the rounded bottom okay and he says rounded bottoms they're tied with six, so it says average rise rank five, break even failure rank five, change after trend end six. So he's ranking all these guys like a descending triangle, rounded bottom, all different types of stuff in their order and how they perform. And it says, I prefer to think of rounding bottoms as rounding turns because they need not be bottoms at all. Rather, many of them have prices that enter the rounded pattern from below, so they act as consolidations, pauses of the upward price trend. Rounded bottoms have an overall performance rank of 5. The average rise, if you were to trade perfectly, the bull market patterns I looked at is 43%. The break-even failure rate is 5%, meaning that 5% of the patterns failed to rise at least 5% after the breakout. Once the trend changes, after reaching the ultimate high, prices tumbled 31% on average. So it, pays, so it pays to sell as close to the top as possible. No surprise there, right? So guys, that's saying once it breaks that neckline, it can run 43%, but you're going to have a pullback off that 43%, most likely around 31% on average. So you'd be keeping that like 12% gain basically if you were to just hold on to it but that's the importance of being able to sell that top as opposed because sometimes guys like even here you'll have that breakout look at that big run and then you have it pull all the way back to the neckline or a throwback and then you move forward again so I wanted to read that to you guys and then it says here it says figure six nine which you guys can't see that but it says shows a rounding turn on the daily scale in this example price climb climb into the pattern, curve downward, and soar out the right side without pausing. A rising approach happens 61% of the time, and when it does, it predicts better performance after the breakout. An average rise of 57 versus 36% of rounded bottoms with downtrends leading to a chart pattern. Thus, select pat patterns in a rising price trend. And then here, guys, it says, here is the identification tips for rounding bottoms. Use the weekly scale. Rounded bottoms are large enough to appear there, and the graceful turn becomes apparent easily. Number two, price enters the pattern trading upward 62% of the time, best or downward 38% of the time. Look for a peak that occurs before the rounding turn. This forms the left cup lip. Next one, price should round downward into a bull shape, usually smooth, but allow for variations. So you want to see a nice pattern like how this one is, guys. Nice symmetry to it. Next one, midway through the turn, prices may shoot up and then ease down to just above where they started. 
And that could be even right here, guys, where we kind of shoot, shot up and then we kind of pulled back to almost where we were here and then we started moving up there. And then it says volume shape splits between dome 51%, U 43%, and everything else 6%. And then it says, guys, trading and trading tips for this. Unless I'm making a trade, I rarely, I rarely look at the weekly scale, but I make the effort monthly. Each month, price adds four or five additional bars to the chart, and sometimes that's enough. I found a rounding turn about halfway through its development and LAM research and decided to trade it because I knew, hoped really, that prices would rise to the height of the left cup lip. I decided that the trade would be a long-term one. Nevertheless, I used a trailing stop that I raised as prices climbed. The general market downturn at the start of the new year cashed me out, but not before I made some money. I detailed the trade later in the book. The point of mentioning it now is to convince you to look at the weekly scale or a higher period than the one you're usually looking at to find this pattern. If you can spot a gentle turn in development, then buy the stock and ride it upwards. However, be aware of the midway bump that sometimes happens. Price Prices start the rounding turn at B and slide downward to the September low and almost a straight line decline. Then prices retrace a good portion of the, of the decline. When the retrace completes, prices drop to a point A, slightly above where they were in the rise. Then the rise resumes, ending at C before forming a handle and moving higher. So guys, this here is almost that little like cup and handle as well. So keep an eye on that. You'll see a lot of those coming out of it. It's a little cup and handle, but that's what I wanted to bring to you guys. There's obviously it gets into a ton there. It goes a lot deeper, but I just wanted to bring this to you quick. You guys can continue to study these, look at different chart patterns, but pay attention to that, guys. You'll just see it gradually. The, the demand, you know, the what's it called, guys? Supply and demand. You'll see it shifting all throughout this, and that's that rounded bottom is that supply and demand shifting. And then you have your move. And then here, guys, we broke and closed out, went up, came back. Then we had a bullish engulfing candle, and we started rising. Then we had that throwback, came back, kind of formed that little like cup and handle type deal, guys, and then started moving back up again. But this is what I want to bring to you guys. Just want to do it real quickly and tell me if you like these little tutorials. Try to do the best I can for you guys, and uh, just appreciate each and every one of you. Leave it down there in the comments. God bless you.